Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's start with episode three of Google Sheets. Let's jump right into it. So here we have our Google Sheet again, and this time I'm gonna do a quick review of how we can sort this sheet. What I have to do is just click on this little rectangle at the top left, so it hides all my data. And then I can come up to my data and I can sort range and go to my advanced range sorting. Why do I like this way better? Because I can say, yes, I have a header row, but I can sort by multiple columns. So I can come over here and say, add another sort. So last name, maybe then I want, uh, or maybe I want to go uh, t-shirt size. And then I want last name and then first name. So I can keep adding multiple different ideas of how I want to sort those. So let's go t-shirt size, um, smallest to biggest, or, or A, right, A to Z or Z to A. So I'll just do that A to Z. Let's see what happens. There we go. So now all my larges are right here. Uh, all my mediums, then my smalls, then XLs, right? Within the L section, that all this data should be by uh, last name and then first name. And you can see it is. Same thing for inside the medium section. Alphabetical then by uh, last name and then first name. Great. That's pretty slick. Um, if I didn't want to do that, I'll hit the undo button real quick. Great. Another way we can go through and do some sorting is by using what's called a filter. So if I come up to my data and just say create a filter, boom, you'll notice that for any uh, of my header rows, there'll be a new little icon in the bottom right hand corner. That is now my filter. So let's say I want to filter my t shirt size. I can click on that little filter. I can say, hmm, just show me the extra larges. So I can unclick all the large, medium, small, hit OK. And now I'm left with just the XLs. Click on that. And you notice that that filter has changed. So if I had an actual filter instead of just the little dash marks, it's actually filled up. So if I click on it and say, OK, where's all my data? I can come back and say, select all or check all the boxes and hit OK. If I hit clear, nothing's going to show up. So don't. Be careful of that one, right? Select all, all my data comes back. Um, let's say I wanna do um, maybe just the large, so uncheck, uncheck, uncheck. Boom, here we go. But now I wanna filter also, I wanna show clear it. But I wanna show just Dr. Pepper. So now I'm gonna get those with a large t-shirt and whose drink is Dr. Pepper. Perfect, right? And that can maybe help you go through and filter some of your data. That's it, right? Hit select all, I can bring them back or the undo button, right? And come back, click the little filter, select all, and now all of my data is back, pretty slick. Uh, something that's I just learned about that's really cool that's like that filter button right here is called a slicer. So if I hit the slicer, you'll notice it will say, all right, um, what column do I want that slicer to be with? Maybe I want that to be a t-shirt size. Right, and then um, if I come over and click on that all, I can do it right from here. I don't have to have a filter um, next to it because I don't need a filter for all of them, like first name, last name. I just want to sort by uh, t-shirt size. So let's clear it. Show me just the large. Perfect. I like that. And now I wonder, can I uh, add another slicer? Ooh, it will let me. That's pretty cool. Um, select my column, and this time I want, uh, uh, how about drink? Yes, right? If I say drink, um, it resets it. Uh, if I hit clear, say show me just the Dr. Pepper. Great. And then hit OK. Now I've got Dr. Pepper. I was wondering if it would let me do both. It looks like it won't. Uh, that's unfortunate because if I can change that back to, oh, there we go. Now I've got my drink. Um, is doing Dr. Pepper and my t-shirt size is large. Uh, so you don't have the uh, the filters right there along that row or messing with the column. You could add these um, little slicers along the outside. You want to remove the slicer, just click the three dots and you can delete that slicer. Pretty slick. All right, let's try, let's actually just do that. Delete and delete, so we're back to where we were. Um, the last thing I wanna show you, and this is especially true when you're working with a Google Sheet and you have other people joining you on that sheet and you wanna do some sorting, but you don't wanna mess up anyone else's view. 
Um, or maybe you want to kind of customize, hey, here's what I'm going to sort and have everyone look at it. This is called a filter view. So I'm going to come up to data and come down to a filter view. Click on create new filter. New filter view. It says filter one. I can easily change that to something like um, large t-shirts or something, right? I can type in large. So now, hey, I want to see just the large. I can have those little filters right there for me. Um, clear all, select the large, and hit OK. Boom, done. There's my large t-shirts. Um, as right, if I'm done with this view, I can click on, right now we see we have, let's move that out of the way. We have eight large t-shirts. Great. If I hit the little X over here, it will just close the filter view, bring me back into the main view. Nothing here has changed. I can come up and say, hey, I don't really have that filter row because it's still there. Um, I can say remove the filter, done. Uh, but now let's say I want to add a large t-shirt and we will call this one uh, Bob. Perfect, right? Let's just put that in. Let's come back to our uh, filter view. There's my large. And look at that. He already populates over here. So if you set up a like a Google form and you have data coming in and you want to have that sorted automatically, you could come over to a filter view and already change it to whatever you want. Large t-shirts, smalls, mediums, extra large, and have it uh, filtered for you automatically onto these different filter views. Pretty slick. Okay, that's it. Filtering, sorting. Now you're a pro. When you're done, you're done.